Hello friends, welcome to Endo Tales from Life. In this video, we are going to review one of the most hyped product that was launched in the year 2023. Yes, it is the AI motor from Woodpecker, which was designed and launched by Dr. Yoshi Tarauchi himself, which further caused more curiosity among all the Endo lovers. So, before we begin the video, I have to thank one of our followers because uh, for requesting me to make a video on this AI endomotor and when I contacted the Bombay Dental Surgical Team, Mr. Mehul was instantly ready to send me the endomotor for making this video. So thanks to both of them. But let me also disclaim that I do not have any financial interest towards this product and it's going to be an unbiased view as always. So this AI motor also is similar to the integrated endomotor that we have already done a video on so now we know that there are a lot of integrated endomotors in the market which means that we do not i mean the in the apex locator can be integrated with the rotary function so that when you're working in the canal you are constantly in control of your working length so this ai motor is also having that feature so before we go into what are unique to this endomotor, let me show you what are the features that are common with the modern endomotors. So this is another brand integrated endomotor. We have different modes irrespective of the brand. They are, have different programs where you can set to be used at an exclusive apex locator mode or a continuous rotation mode which is commonly used and you can adjust the speed, torque, but they also have reverse rotation mode and reciprocation mode. There are also some functions like auto start where you just when the file contacts the canal it starts rotating. They start slowing down when it reaches the apex. So these are features that are present in different uh, integrated modes. But when it comes to reciprocation you can also change the angle of forward and reverse reciprocation. So there are some files like reciproc which are be meant to be used in reciprocating angles. So these modes can be used for such files. So now this AI endomotor also has all these similar functions like they have different programs. They have angles that can be set, speed, torque, etc. that can be adjusted just like every other integrated endomotor mode. So let us discuss what are the features that are unique to this AI endomotor. So one thing that is very unique to this endomotor is that it has a mode called T mode which is specifically meant for ledge bypassing. Yes, is the T mode. So what exactly is this T mode? So when you set your endomotor in the T mode, this is specifically done or used only for bypassing the ledge. The instrument first starts reciprocating in a 90 degree direction, clockwise and anticlockwise. And once the ledge is bypassed, you don't have to change the programs in your endomotor. You just have to press the control switch once again the file starts rotating in a clockwise direction so that once the ledge is bypassed without taking the handpiece out or without taking the file out of the canal just one more press on your switch the file can start doing clockwise rotation and prepare the canal which can eliminate the ledge so let me repeat this motion again in the T mode the file reciprocates 90 degrees which is meant for bypassing and once you bypass the ledge you press the switch once again and you just get continuous rotation without having to take the file out of the canal and changing modes in the endomotor. So let us test the steam mode whether it's efficient for bypassing a ledge. Before that there are other features also that might be slightly better than the other motors which is the maximum speed of this endomotor is 2500 rpm. Generally all endomotors have their maximum speed up to you no know, 600 or 1000 whereas this has a speed range up to 2500 which is specifically for using gate cylindrals or long neck burst in slow speed for exposing instruments 
during instrument retrieval and they also have the ATR mode this is not unique to this endomotor there are some other brands which have a ATR mode ATR mode is basically inspired from Cybron Endo's adaptive motion where the file is used in continuous rotation in the canal but when the file is encountering resistance in narrow canals a curved canal the file reciprocates by itself till the file becomes little loose in the canal and then it starts rotating clockwise by itself. So this is an additional protective feature to prevent file breakage in uh, curved canals. So personally I don't use this mode but this is an additional function that are present in modern endomotors and this endomotor also has it. Now let us challenge the T mode or the ledge bypassing mode by trying it on an artificially created ledge in an acrylic block. So I chose a uh, acrylic block with a curvature I had created a ledge intentionally a milder ledge and used a 17.4% rotary file in the T mode and I could see that the file was slowly able to come back to the original canal from the ledge because of its reciprocation motion and once I felt the canal or the file has entered into the canal I just pressed the switch on the endomotor once again so that it became continuous rotation and you can see the file easily uh, preparing the rest of the canal eliminating the ledge so this T mode seems to work in my ledges now I also took an extreme challenge here the ledge is pretty deep and the canal curvature is even more it's more apically located and I'm going to see if the steam mode is going to work in some such deep and extreme ledges. Well, you can see here in such deep ledges, even the T mode is not able to bypass the ledge. So all you need to understand, one of the most important thing about ledge management is avoiding a ledge or the moment you create a ledge, when you stop it at the earliest, recognize that that's a ledge, that's the easiest time to bypass it either with these endomotors or with manually with pre-curved k-files so the deep ledges in the apical are one of the most complicated things to manage both with k-files and rotary files you can see i'm trying to intentionally pre-bend the file and place it in the canal but still i'm not able to bypass the ledge so it's not the limitation of this endomotor in general ledges that are deeper and if it's present in apical thirds of the canal especially beyond curves these are one of the most serious complications that is for a clinician and an clinician to manage so overall these are the functions of the or the, these are the different features of the ai endomotor and it is being sold for 65,000 rupees Indian money. So I hope this video was useful and you can let me know in your comments if you want me to make videos on any particular or specific topic. Thank you and see you all soon.